From sleeping in a barn to visits with the president at the White House, Dr. Green led quite the life. Amani is here right now. You sat down with Dr. Green earlier this year. I did, Greg. Now, she told me her journey is a testament that it's not only where you've been, but also where you're headed and everything in between that defines you. We have people power. Dr. Alice Green's lifetime commitment to civil justice work started when she was just a child, born out of a traumatic experience at her first job in the Adirondacks. My first job as a teenager, and I was separated from the other staff, told that I had to live in a barn, while the other staff lived in the the luxury housing connected to this restaurant and motel. That made a very deep impression upon me. Um, and especially since my great grandmother uh, had been born enslaved and uh, thought to be uh, like animal. Disturbed but in need of money to help support her family, Green decided to stay. After sleeping there one night with uh, bats, I decided that I was being treated like it someone who was not human. In the morning, Green confronted her employer, telling her the discrimination was wrong and that she deserved the same accommodations as her white co-workers. She was then fired and had to make the 40-mile walk back home. I made a commitment to myself as I walked 40 miles that I would do whatever I could to make sure that poor people and people of color were not treated uh, like they were not human. That experience and those of her enslaved great-grandmother leading Green to go on to receive a doctorate in criminal justice and three master's degrees in education, social work, and criminology before opening up the Center for Law and Justice in Albany in 1985. My family pushed me into education, which was one of the things that allowed me to be uh, somewhat free. Green and her work even being honored by former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama at the White House. Not everybody agrees with what we do because we're always challenging uh, the system to treat people equally. Green hopes her story encourages women this month and all year long to take a stand and believes that if her great grandmother could see all of her accomplishments today from the barn house to the White House that she'd be proud. You've got to believe in yourself. Now, Green's other accomplishments include founding the African American Cultural Center and working as the Deputy Commissioner for the State Division of Probation and Correctional Alternatives, Greg. You know, I've been doing this for more than 40 years. It's mm -hmm. hard for me to imagine the city of Albany or the local news landscape without Dr. Alice Green. Sure. I mean, really a remarkable person and a huge loss for the community, and she will be missed. Yeah, We'll yeah. have more tonight. Thank you very much for that, Amani. Yeah.